these days, you may be hearing a lot about neuroscience in the context of business, management, and project management. So in this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is neuroscience? Neuroscience is a scientific discipline, and in the academic world, it is the study of the human nervous system with the human brain at its focus. This means neuroscience includes your brain and everything it connects to, your spinal cord and your central and peripheral nervous system. It also means that neuroscience is a multidisciplinary subject, which covers things like biology, physiology, anatomy, molecular biology, cell biology, psychology, biochemistry, and loads more. It aims to understand all of the properties and the behaviours of our brains and our whole nervous systems. But we are not scientists and academics. We're project managers, and we want the good bits that will help us to lead our projects, our project teams and our stakeholders as effectively as possible. So, a useful working definition of neuroscience in this context is that neuroscience is about understanding how the brain works so we can learn to control our responses, manage behaviours and make resourceful choices. This itself brings in a load of elements that most project managers do and all project managers should understand a fair amount about. Things like psychology, sociology and behavioural science, emotional intelligence, motivation and communication skills. If that's not enough to persuade you about the value of learning about neuroscience for your career, let's dive a little deeper. Project management is about people. We deliver projects for people. We call them customers or users or stakeholders. And we deliver projects with people. We call them staff or team members or colleagues. All the time, we need to be working with those people and getting the best from them and also from ourselves. The profession of project management is about coordinating people to do difficult things for other people. It's people all the way. And that's what makes neuroscience a valuable study for us as project managers. The more we know about the topic, the better we can do our job. My interpretation of neuroscience is that the core insight is that the brain works in different ways at different times. Different brain structures deal with survival, emotion and reason. Let's look at each of them. Survival is dealt with largely by the brainstem. The brainstem keeps your heart beating, your chest and diaphragm moving so that you can breathe, your body's chemicals in balance and your temperature regulated. This is sometimes called homeostasis. Emotions are largely handled by the limbic system. Your limbic system responds emotionally. It connects events with memories and it drives your impulses, aversions and desires. Reason is largely handled by the cortex. This part of your brain is responsible for conscious thought, language, reasoning, creativity, problem solving and decision making. It's the bit you most need to have online and working well if you're to succeed in a difficult work task. This simplified model of the brain called the triune brain, has great power in predicting and explaining human behaviour. We need our reasoning brain to be active, alert and dominant in the world of work. Yet much of what happens, particularly in a challenging environment like a project, can activate our limbic system and our emotional responses and even our brainstem and our survival response 
which is sometimes referred to as fight or flight, or perhaps more thoroughly as fight or flight or freeze or flop. It also tells us what we need to do to keep the reasoning brains of our team members and our stakeholders in control, which is equally important. We need to minimise the threats that our brains perceive and to maximise their perceived rewards. In my companion video on the SCARF model developed by David Rock, I talk about Rock's five factors, all of which can activate our emotional brain and indeed our fight or flight or fright reflexes. We need to be mindful of these five factors to ensure that they don't trigger a perceived threat in the people around us and indeed to use them effectively to offer rewards. These five factors are status, certainty, autonomy, relatedness and fairness. So, for example, either perceived threats to our status or indeed possible status rewards can either trigger our emotional system or our reasoning system. Likewise, if we feel uncertain about what's going on, we perceive that as a threat. If we feel far more certain about what's going on, then we feel safe. We all want a measure of autonomy, the ability to make our own choices. And if you take that away from me, that's a threat. But equally, we all want to feel related to the people around them. And if we challenge those relationships, that's a threat. If those relationships are sound and solid and come with recognition and acknowledgement, then we feel safe. And of course, fairness. When we perceive something is unfair, we feel challenged. When we feel something is fair, that triggers our reward centres. With a good understanding of neuroscience, you can reduce the stress in and around your project. You can increase motivation, improve communication, boost creativity and sharpen decision making. So I'll put a list of resources about neuroscience in the description to this video. For many years, I've been telling project managers that we need to learn about psychology. And now I am adding to that that equally, we all need to learn something about neuroscience. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it and to give me a perceived reward. And please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my project management related videos. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.